damn, is let's say she's withholding sex. He gets sex once a week, right? I think we could agree once a week is is egregious, right? And then if damn, if you count the week where she on her cycle, is that's three times a month potentially. And he yes. steps out. Is he wrong? He's still wrong for violating his vows, but um, just because there's justification, but he's still wrong. Just divorce her. Yeah, just leave. She ain't keep her word. So what just about divorce. his kids? Y'all figure it out. Fuck them kids. <laughs> What about his house? He can't, you know, stay faithful. I mean, but but what what about all the other things, right? The problem is she ain't she ain't busting it open. So you better figure it out. What's worth more, your family or the sex? Shit. Yeah, like what level now, of, of? I think that's what getting at. It. That sounds fucking. Cr no, sorry, I'm not I'm sorry. <laughs> Sweet B, you just like really and, feel. and that come on, man. That's crazy. That y'all did you hear what Mary just said? Say one more time. Tia said, "Look at this. Somebody come look at this. Yo, <laughs> this is crazy, man." What did you say, Mary? I said he better figure out what's worth more: the fucking sex uh -oh. or the goddamn family. She's not That's wrong. That's crazy, bro. That you have to make that type of decision. But I'm not saying it's I'm not saying it's right. But uh, again, if you make vows to be with somebody through sickness and health, they could then better or worse, up, down, sideways, left, right, whatever the fuck. I mean, do you understand what you're saying? Yes. Are that's, you telling that's wild that a man would have to be in the position to pick either his family or sex with somebody else? That is definitely wild. I understand that. I know exactly what I said. Now, again, as wild as it may seem, that's what it could possibly come down to. Mm, mm, mm. That is... is there any justifiable reason why your woman? Yeah, we why know you... we know things like sickness, right? Postpartum, like things like that. I mean, you know, the men have to be considerate, right? But generally speaking, if you can't unveil anything and this is happening to men without all these the circumstances that are justifiable that's what we're talking about you know what i mean but outside of that like come on man and then I, what if he and then men i think men are having these conversations i was just ready to say yeah. are they having the conversations but are they having the conversations to show that they're serious about it yeah all right now that's that that right there is serious i mean i'm asking a question so and i don't want to use you as an example but before let's hypothetically you're ha you're dating your wife your soon to be wife you're dating her you're having this conversation like you say if if you say look you know the first time y'all went on a date you're like i gotta have sex every day like when we if you yeah, get married i, I say you realize you only come over on thursdays and sundays right what are you talking about that's why i told and my wife but that's not telling her that you No, but I'm telling you how we had like yo, you realize you relegated to these days. Right? Why so you if just we do this you thing, you gotta fulfill all these days. But why you just can't say sex is important to me? No, nah, see, you see, that's the thing. You know exactly what I'm saying. I, but I understand what you're saying. Exactly. So that's the thing. Men don't have to say, listen, I need I we have the conversation. But people can play dumb all they want. That doesn't justify it. So at what point do men get a pass? Like what you feel like, say your wife only giving you sex once a week. How long does that last before you feel like you should get a pass? No, you, well, you had to have the conversation. Right. And right? then, and then. Know, that's what we minding out. As women, you guys are sitting here. This is happening to 25% of men. This is very important. Men will argue that it is a need. He's telling you that, yo, um, this is not working. What do y'all think? I just can't imagine it not working. I'm like, let me if, if you have the conversation, if, 
Or Let me why are you help. talking like Christopher Walken? Like, what the fuck you? Like, I can't hear my. I have my head is stuffy, <laughs> so I can't. I feel like I'm talking loud. <laughs> You're not. You keep. Like, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead, sis. What are you saying? Or who is talking? I uh, me. Well, I was about to. If if you have the conversation, and then she's like, "Well, you can't have a pass, and I'm not giving you none. I'm not. I'm not increasing the amount of days." then somebody gotta make a choice at that point mm. because it's only gonna snowball into other arguments fights and cheating and so on and so forth mm. sweet b i agree with sis mm. it, it affects that's another thing too like okay the withholding sex or like it's it's more sometimes than just the physical like there can be other things at play as to why the woman doesn't want to have sex. But he he's mad, he's upset, he pays his bills. Yeah, so I'm I'm not I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm just saying that sex, like the sexual act of having sex, there's a mental component to it for women, for women. Maybe not so much for men, but there's a mental component, there's an emotional component, like there's other things than just the physical. So if she isn't giving the physical there may be some other areas that's not balanced you know what i'm saying that's not being met is he responsible for her happiness you think absolutely well, at, absolutely. at a percentage or period that's a period you're responsible for your happiness and no and, he, he's like, responsible for her go ahead sorry did you hear no, 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 no. So, no you 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 yourself are responsible for your own happiness oh yeah that's what i said is he responsible for her happiness oh no no. So my and was going to be because it's not a but because I don't want to negate what I just said. And the people that like you're in a relationship with, they support the environment mm. too. So it's like a, it's, it's both that needs to be going on. Like I'm responsible for my happiness mm. and you, you, you support that because you're my environment, you're in my space. Yeah. I think Sunshine said it in the chat, like, make sure you don't fuck it up for me though right a person can be a negative impact on how you feel for sure that's fair that's fair man get the likes up get the likes up get the likes up let's revisit this last thing real quick man because that 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 it, it sucks like that 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 would be a terrible deal man and you you see like men are always are hesitating more than ever on um signing that contract so if that can be done to you just because somebody feels a certain way or they get upset at you and then um you know men would argue they need sex and you simply can't have it and then you can't do anything about it either that's messed right? up and then I men do you guys agree that men are solution oriented or no i think they are that's what i was ready to say i, I think they can they can help it they can you know much like sweet b said if you if your wife is feeling a certain way and you never ask her why but then you're just like you're not having sex with me and then it just keeps revolving no one is solving the problem but she says she's responsible right she yeah she's responsible for her own happiness however you also have to support it like she said and supporting it means Y'all sit down and have a conversation about what is going on. Mm -hmm. Why is it going on? And what do we need to do to solve the problem? What does it have to do with her fulfilling her duty? But you you see, you see how it's problematic where it you you you're not doing it on purpose, but you're you're giving a reason or an excuse or a justification for why these men may be the sex deprived, but that is a duty, that is an agreement, right? And then you believe in the Bible for the most part your body's no longer yours so how do we align all that and then i got to do all this navigating for you to fulfill your duty see that that's that's what is conflicting I maybe don't people really, really don't believe, believe the bible like they say they do maybe they be lying that part who are you talking to somebody else <laughs> <Adrian, laughs> gonna come running in they're gonna come waddling in there so um when you want to that's how break down this when you break down your vows and you're saying your body is no longer yours again if a person is emotional 
emotionally or mentally having an issue, that can be considered a sickness. So if you decide that you're not going to try to, since men are solution-based, if you're not going to try to find a way to assist her in whatever she's going through, whether it's emotional or mental, then to me, that's also not trying to figure out a solution so that you can get what you want and so that she can fulfill her duties. Yeah, no, I I, I, I hear the excuse. That's not I- that's what it is no i'm just saying right you 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 it, it, it but it is he's he's implicated at all times right and i i am I'm, I'm saying that that is forever going to be problematic right that that has to be a part of her being able to fulfill her duty right i'm thinking that duties get fulfilled whether you want to like it understand it accept it believe it or not i'm not thinking that, like that if my if my, no, if I'm my saying, but no no but but just think about it though so but it's a duty which we agree to and then most people are biblically speaking right the bible don't add none of that shit around it but yet and still the man is implicated that's all i'm, I'm just i trying can't to feel my duty if my arm is broke okay i can if both my hands is broke i can i have to work through therapy to find a way so i can learn how to cook without my hands so huh? it's the same yeah yeah it's the same type of concept if i need if something happens mm-hmm. and i can't fulfill my duty as mm-hmm. my husband, as the lead in the overall the household, you have to assist me so that I can fulfill my duties. What are you saying? No, I'm saying if you in a way, right? See, I think see wives see Bert see Stacy again. Is, is a wife a uh, help me? Cause it just what I'm what I'm thinking is, Ro, is right, because we're trying to mine it out it's it's convenient it's quite convenient that you you put in these things as the husband as the lead right you that that's that's you know those are tactics right they're not you, tactics. You, that's what it well, is no no you no but that, the bible stop because if we do that you know you're gonna get lost in the sauce but Just, you said you know. that you brought out the I bible said the bodies the body's yours right the body's not yours also right so if you go to ephesians make sure you start with the woman submits right you know that a husband can give his wife commandments so all that what you're saying actually doesn't apply if you really apply the bible Hamp, so if my body is yours him if my and that means i don't have yours, to but, but think about what you're saying to, who's, think supposed about what you're saying. who's supposed to make it work think, you're talking about sex right 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 you're talking about sex That's right what we're but, talking about well if you're speaking biblically slow down there's nothing in there that says you i need to make sure your mind is right because your body already belongs to me hold on i i i'm gonna interject my respectfully because it says that you know why submit to your husbands that's you know and then men love your wife as christ loved the church so mm-hmm. you mean to tell me that what it looks like for a man to love his wife the way Christ loved the church is to not be con- to not be concerned with her mental well being because Christ is concerned with our mental well being. Why do you say that? That's the that's the duty that the husband has that you're talking. Why do you about. say that? Because it literally says husbands, wives submit to your husband. Do you know how he loved the church? I do. F- follow what I'm saying though. It says Christ. Uh, husbands love your wives as Christ loved the church and gave her gave himself up for her. How he where where's this loving nurturing thing at though? The point the point is that while mm. people are still in they sin, Christ died for them so that mm. they could have relationships. Where I, okay, I understand. He so fi- let's like duty. go back to the sex part. Go back to the sex part with We'd the man. No, no, wife. we're not talk. But see, that's the thing. I was talking about sex, right? And how the but body? Wait a minute. Yeah, I'm. But I was already there. Rose started talking about emotions and feeling. So when you talk about I'm Christ, the two. but you, so, but but that there's no, but you, but you, but the reason why you can't connect it is because you haven't mentioned emotions yet concerning Christ in the church. I'm I'm connecting the two. Your soul is mm-hmm. your mind, your will, and your emotions. <laughs> your, our soul. So Christ died so that our souls can be saved. Our soul, our mind, our will, our emotion, our soul. So when you when you cry, you for those who are Christian, everybody's not, but I'm speaking for those who are Christian, right? 
So when you get saved and you or when you accept Christ as your Lord and Savior, your spirit man is regenerated right then and there. Your soul. What are you talking about? I'm asking I'm, about I'm, the I'm, feeling I'm part. I'm talking about the emotional part. All right, the get there. Part. Get there. Let me let me hear. Right. So the soul is the emotional part. That's what Christ died to save for 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 people for the people who believe that that's what they believe. The soul, the mind, the will, and the emotion. So when it says husbands love your wives as Christ loved the church, mm. that literally means care about her soul. Care about her mind. Care about her her emotions. Where where she's at. Her passion and her desires. Care about that. I feel like men. You just add husbands, it to the Bible. You could get you could get a lot of why, men. Why, but CB, why do you get to keep going if you just add it to the Bible? I'm 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 coming back to the emotional part to I, what I know. Bro but, was I can't, but isn't it right for me to stop you if you just added to the Bible something that wasn't in there? I didn't. What did I add? You talk something about soul and love and all this other your stuff. Your soul, your mind, your will, and your emotions. If a wife is emotionally unwell, the Bible says Christ, husbands love your wives as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her. That How involves the soul. Okay. Do you know? So, so a husband should care about a wife. His do wife's you soul. know Jesus? I. What did he do in the temple? We're, we're not going to get aware. With no, this, because because y'all don't know what y'all talking about. No, because right? you're not hearing what I'm saying. So, but but because because what I'm saying is you're just literally adding to the Bible, right? Let's not I didn't do add that. Anything. Let's let's assess what Christ. Not so no, you, but it doesn't say all of that, right? So I let's pull the scripture. I'll pull it up. Let's assess how what Christ's conduct was. Mm -hmm. Do you know that he's calling austere man? Do you know what austere means? Cold. When the dude came to him and called him good, what did he say? Don't call me good, nigga. There's only good but one. Go keep the commandments, right? There was nothing mm -hmm. about this shit that y'all talking about. He died and fulfilled his duty, right? And then when Paul expounds on Ephesians 5 and 1 Corinthians 7, he says you your body does not belong to you. So it has nothing to do with feeling good. That's the point I'm making. You were right. right but you're part you're, you're missing part of the soul. You're skipping that part because it matters. I'm just saying that you're putting it in, but it's not there. That's what I'm saying. It is there. It's it's there. It's there. Literally, if you want to see it. Now, if you don't want to see it, that's another that's another conversation. Me? But your soul matters. So, so a husband, what does it look like for a husband to love his wife as Christ loved the church? What does that look like then? And he gave himself for it. He fulfills his duty. But what does it look like? Because it's not just going to work and, and getting bread. What else what is, is involved with that? What does it look like? That's my question to you. Just like Christ, you feel you you fulfill your duty. You take care of what you need to take care of, right? As long as you get have respect, all that love shit is not a part of the equation. Love is actually overrated and fleeting. But people get married off love, which is why I would argue that the divorce rate so high. If people I got agree. married off purpose, like they I do agree. in it, like the Hindus do when they get arranged marriage and have what a seven percent divorce rate, is because it's for duty responsibility. Right, and, and love don't got nothing to do with it. That's why this I, argument I agree doesn't make sense. With you, that you should not marry for love. <laughs> love, agape love. It looks like caring about your your partner's well being emotionally, physically, otherwise. Agape I'm, I'm, I'm ended there. I, I just want to take. Let's take the emotions sweet out here. Please, we be agape it, love is uncondition. That's not even realistic. Camp, if your do if your duties like you just said, is to take care of. <laughs> Is your wife does your wife is your wife included in that say what now if you're saying your one of your duties is to take care of does your wife is your wife included in that yes okay so if and she what? is sick whether it's physical whether it's in her head you're you're supposed to care for her correct when it pertains to her feeling her duties for me no See, that's the art. See, y'all trying to see, this is what we're talking about. We're saying sex. And then we brought the Bible up, right? The Bible don't say nothing about her having to feel good to fulfill her. Duty. I, I didn't say anything about feeling good. I said, oh if she's goodness. sick, you're telling me we that. Already, see, no, no. See, you said something different. Nobody said nothing about sick. Stop doing that. I already said, sis, sis, earlier. Hold on, sweet B. You know, lady. Sis. Didn't I say earlier, we understand when they get sick, postpartum, etc. Then I already acknowledged that that part, you got to understand she can't do it. Yeah. Right. So that's what I'm, 
So that's what I'm trying to get an understanding because I'm. It's like you. It almost ahead, almost made it seem like you were saying she still got to fulfill her duty if she's sick. <laughs> I but I already prefaced it with saying that if she's sick. But recently, why? So then recently it looked it sounded like that's what you were saying. But why? If I already prefaced it with saying you have to understand these situations. Because oh. it seems like you contradicted yourself a little bit. Why? Because it seemed like that was you mentioned it when you prefaced it, but then mm -hmm. in conversation it sounded like it was not of importance. And How? so I was I was going to comment and, and bring it full circle back to what you said, but mm -hmm. um I, I think that we're all saying the same thing but but differently because you, mm -hmm. you do acknowledge that there are times when you have to be considerate of the your wife or your significant other's well-being or their state and that's not always a physical condition and i think yeah. that's we can we can all agree on that to an extent but Which not not this where it's not mm -hmm. it, it seems like it turns into work mm -hmm. like to, i've never would have thought sex would be considered a duty until this conversation and now it sounds like well make sure you do this because it's at the same level of a man providing like I've never looked at sex like that. So it's like it's it's a key provision though, right? That's why that's why women were thinking yeah, it's both. I think when you talk about it like that, it sounds like I wouldn't want to do that either. Niggas, <laughs> like, go there, go, niggas go out there and die, kill themselves every day. Work uh, like, work, work work 20 out, you know, 10 hours a day, right? So I, I know, but I think if I looked at it like that, I would probably I could see why a woman would rational wait, ration it, Jesus Christ. Cause it doesn't sound, it sounds like work when y'all talk about it like that. I guess that's why I've never had to count a day of how long has it been? Well, 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 oh, real quick. Well, well, think about this after, 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 after a year, two years, three years, five years of doing something, shit, the redundancy alone, right? It's not new. It's not fresh, right? You still have to get it done. If it's if if there's times where you don't want to, but you know you have to go to work and you still do it, th does that make sense? I know that's why I'm like, I, but the way we're talking about it, it, it starts to sound like y'all really don't want to though. Don't who? Well, I don't know about men, but the the way women are describing it, it sounds like it's starting to sound like a job. Yeah, I think so. I think taking care of your family is a job. Taking care of the house is a job. Fulfilling, <coughs> excuse me, each other's needs is a job. If if what role in them say we remove the Bible because the Bible the Bible just doesn't support the argument about the that emotional stuff. But if we just if we just be secular in terms of talking about how she feels matters to her wanting to have sex, that would be that would be very laborious for a man to to help you get out your feelings, right? But if we're saying he's obligated to do it, guess what it is? Work. Another job. Yeah. Let me ask. Let me ask a question. So, <laughs> so for men who go to work, right, and you say like, all right, well, we don't got it. We don't want to do this, but we got to. Like, this is part of a man's duty. Are is there any men, or have you come across any men who actually enjoy the work that they do? Like, <clears> it, <throat> it's it's fulfilling for them, and it takes care of their family too. Like, can both exist at the same time? Mm -hmm. Yep, hundred percent, and that's actually a great analogy for for what Lauren's trying to understand. Um, because yeah, you're gonna enjoy it a lot of the times, and there's gonna be several times where you do it because you know it got to get done. Right, right. But so, but but like the 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 former can outweigh or can be more than the the latter. Yes, it can be. However, after twenty years, sweet B, you know. Right. It may be the former, but, you know, it got to get done. And you know what's crazy? You ever like like, for instance, like when I start to stream, like uh, once I get to Friday, like we did like a long stream yesterday. Then I'm dealing with my guys. I'll be out with them tomorrow on the truck. Right. And Thursday. Right. Then I'll be back when I get on here on Friday. I'm like, damn, you know, I'm trying to get the, the energy up. But then once I start, I'm like, OK, I'm cool. You know what I'm saying? But you kind of be when you're going into it, you like, damn, you know um and so that when you when lawrence go ahead my bad. no i was just saying is that like sex after 20 years you might have to three years five okay. years. six months nigga i don't know <laughs> just that's why i said you, you know? got it 
got to switch it up. You got to be able to be diverse in what you do. Because if, like he said, if you stagnant, it's going to get boring. Mm -hmm. Yeah, And you know what? But, bro, his, let's be real about it. It's going to get boring, even if you jump it off the chandelier. That's true. But <laughs> right? how many times do you jump? And then, like Dana said, y'all niggas is old. That's why you got to work on your accents. That's why I'm trying to be Spanish. God, <laughs> Salinas. <laughs> Damn, man. You got a wig for everything. But yo, is is boring, not fun all the time. Work that should be okay too, right? Yeah, sure. Like, shouldn't that be okay? I mean, it it, it is what it is, right? Is that the phrase? Yeah, it sounds horrible, but yeah. <laughs> It right. should be okay. I also agree. It should be okay. I also agree. Um, when you're married, I feel like just because you don't feel like doing something doesn't mean you shouldn't do it for your significant other. You know, because that could be anything. Like how many times you get into arguments with your significant other and he don't want to talk about it, but you got to get them last couple words out. And try to get him to understand so you can resolve it right then and there. You know what I mean? It's not necessarily something he want to do, but he'll do it because he knows it's going to satisfy you. So mm -hmm. the same difference with sex. It's like, you know, you may not be up to it, but all right, let me go ahead and give him some real quick or, you know, give him some neck real quick. And then he'd be all right. You know, I ain't got to worry about nothing. And keep it pushing. It don't wow. take that long. I'm sure it don't take, you know, too long. You, you should know your, your spouse by then to know what gets him off quick. You get what I'm saying? So not sure what it is. So is he supposed is are you guys supposed to both be satisfied at the same time? I, I, I don't feel like realistically, I don't feel like that happens. You're both not gonna be satisfied every time. It's not yeah. for us, it's for the unit. Yeah, so damn man. That shit, it does. I feel a little sad though that it's gonna be like it. like there's a point where it's just work, but you got to get it done. But that's actually a great damn great. Yep, great great analogy, sweetie. Where you saying like there's work that's enjoyable, you know, or when you get there, you glad you came. You know what I mean? Yeah, unintended. God damn man, <laughs> Ranger with the five dollars says that's a goddamn shame that half you women have to see memes to realize y'all not giving y'all men enough sex. But I believe y'all do know. EBD with the two dollars says you violated your vows long before I violated mine. Shell shock with the two dollars says she literally broke the vows by rejecting her husband. Our Aaron Wall with the two dollars says sex is what made this family you turned on us. <laughs> YKS with the two dollars was popping. He says cheat, fellas, just cheat. Shaking my head. God damn. Stanley with the two dollars was popping. Says wouldn't be a family without sex. What the fuck? Harrison with the five dollars says. Why this is why you don't negotiate with terrorists shaking my head men <laughs> have all the responsibility but cannot enforce much on a free human being true for reality undefeated what's up red Bull ranger with the houses women can women call it side piece but we call it side piece <laughs> omega green with the five houses who on the panel believes that women should be truthful to the men they are with regarding their attitude about sex prior to marriage not no nah, mary said lie <laughs> <laughs> oh mac with the tender uh oh sis uh oh <laughs> oh mac came looking for you with the ten dollars black women don't understand how often they turn men down as often as 60 to 70 percent of the time versus five to ten five to ten percent for men turning them down Oh shit. If a man turns a woman down, there there be a series of questions of why. Yeah, we hit we hit on that, oh Mac. Omar Smith at the Fellas says, I'm too wrapped up in this combo. Me and Dana arguing in my mind. I'm like, I love both of y'all, and she willing to help you with morning duties. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? <laughs> Yo, just let them live. Trust me. Superman with the five says, question does question. Does a man get to feel away about something and not do his daily duties we all feel like not doing a lot of things we still have to do i think we i think we, we covered that joe biden's with the five dollars here you go him take these last little funky five dollars i won in spades last night because i i fucks with you <laughs> pause no diddy about to make tacos still listening though salute my brother 
<laughs> and then the black dragon with the two dollars honey what's wrong her nothing the end <laughs> Red Pill Ranger with the five dollars says, if a woman weaponized sex on you because she don't think you have riz or motion, she's going to learn with a nigga like me. One monkey don't stop. No show. What is riz? Girl, um, let me say, I know what riz because my, my babies and tell me what riz is. Riz is when, it's like game. It's like, right. it's like when a man can come yeah. and he can like. Char charisma. Charisma, oh. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Shell shock with a two dollars. So why get married when structure is feared today? Salute the fatty. I think he upgraded the membership. What up, buzzing, 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 flipping, dozing, dozing. Holla at your boy, boy. You thought your cousin wasn't. Superman with the five dollars. Just live separate and meet up when you're in a good mood. <laughs> Everyone gets their therapy and stop expecting people to fix things. You can't. You can't. This is wild. Omar Smith with the files. I believe in aftercare after a scene. So I believe in aftercare after a scene. So that is the same as taking care of a woman's emotional well being. I think that's what the sister was saying. I think a scene. So is it, am I reading it right? Yeah. It's the same as. They're talking about after y'all have sex. Yeah, the care that you give afterwards. Oh, okay. Like get, get the dry off towel? No, man. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Omni with the five dollars says everyone forgets Christ went into the church and flipped over tables when said church was misrepresenting his father. That's what I'm saying. That nigga was a mean ass nigga, man. That was one time that he did that. Nah, yo, okay, you gotta read Luke 19 and start at verse 20. There was a <laughs> nigga that owed that nigga pounds, right? He owed him some bread. He's like, yo, Jesus, my fault. It took me a long time to come get you your bread because you a cold nigga. I don't know how you gonna respond. Like literally, Jesus was a wild. Do you know he told the, the um disciples, if you don't got a strap, sell your garments and go get one. You know he told them that, right? Oh my goodness. I'm trying to tell y'all, man. Y'all better start reading. Now, strap me. He said sword, but you know that was a strap back then. Like, y'all gotta start reading, man. I'm telling you. Mo list with the 10 dollars says no one finds it strange that women have to feel to have to fill food for them to fulfill their duties. But men can't pull that card in order to fulfill theirs. It's what? right. What do you um, mean by good. that? Come here, good. He'll, he'll say something else. Shell shock with the five dollars. You're literally not saying anything. What's the role women play in a marriage or can you feel any type of way to get out of it? Because you're unhappy. Onikasu with the five dollars. Never underestimate a woman's ability to minimize your existence. Women just be talking when they say vows and bend over or get replaced. Mine, no. Okay. Noble Tyrant with the five dollars. Is that a man or a woman? Onikasu is a man. Noble Tyrant with the five dollars says, it's odd the women go to the extremes when it comes to reasons for not performing their wifely duties. Rashawn with the five, oh, excuse me, with the ten dollars was popping. He says, First Corinthians 7, 3 and 5. <clears throat> a wife have not power over her own body but the husband and likewise also the husband have not power over his own body but the wife omega green with the five dollars sweet b interpretation of of ephesians 5 is e he's get he's good uh -oh. uh -oh. isogenical oh isogenes okay isogenical oh your isogesis of it okay First Corinthians 7, 3 and 5. It's not about withholding sex, so neither will be tempted to cheat. Yeah, they was wilding in Corinth. EBD with the five dollars says sex is a sex is a duty to maintain a health in an in an intimate relationship. It sounds like you want to make a bunch of, of excuses rather than build a genuine desire. DK with the two dollars says, if your holes work, then then let then damn. DK with the says, if your holes work, then let your husband use them. Mm. Post education, man. Shell shock with the two dollars says so. Pretty much, they're all boring of this an issue. Omac with the five dollars says black women viewpoint requires a black man to do all his responsibilities and then placate his wife as well. That's what Rose said. Love C with the five dollars says maybe we need to ask why is sex being rationed? What's your reason? It hasn't been communicated. This isn't a light issue with the state of marriages. Mm -hmm. Oh, one was popping with the five dollars says, if you deny your man sex is, if you die, if you deny your man sex is cool for him not to protect you from random disrespect men, disrespectful men, we both have duties to provide. 
Super mad with the file out says, if the requirement for dating meant your partner has to join some of these conversations, it would save people from wasting time. People don't discuss this. Damn. I just said that. Canary Shalawan with the seven dollars, seven Canadian says it's easier to get get y'all all fitted all than Christianity. Drop that white supremacy doctrine and embrace the Hebrew Israelite before Yahweh cracks the sky. Yo, this is my um, this is one of my day ones, man. I used to have a um, a rap battle. Rashim used to do all the recording, editing, everything. I used to have a rap battle league. Salute double R with the five dollars. All of a sudden, women are handicapped, damaged, broken, and atheists when sex is broke. <laughs> Aaron with the two dollars says, "You got six to twelve months to figure out the issue." Shell shock with the two dollars says, "Make an excuse for sex, but be up for brunch." <laughs> Yo, Dana, he he must live in DC. <laughs> He's not wrong. <laughs> God, leave man. It'd it be everybody be hung over at brunch, boy. But you can't. That's crazy, man. Like, share, subscribe. Just send her to brunch and then let her come back home. She'd be ready. <laughs> She'd be more drunk than before she left. <laughs> <laughs> like, share, subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Hit that like button right now if you can. That helps the channel the most. All right, man, we not sparring all night with y'all. That's for damn sure. I'm going to drop the link. I think I'm going to bring the uh, people up one at a time for a few minutes to see if we can dive into this topic some more. Um, it's all interesting, man, but it's just like, damn, man, we had to fight hard, man. I had to fight. I had to fight like hell with Sweet B and Ro, uh when they start bringing up them damn scriptures. Golly. I don't want to fight him. I don't want to fight you. I just said it's if like you are over her body, you need to take care of it. Look, look, it's always it's always Jermaine's fault, right, Mary? <laughs> it's always Jermaine. <laughs> Damn, man. I'm gonna drop the link. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, man. Jesus. Yeah, man. See, B, you know Jesus was an ugly nigga too. You knew that, right? Yeah, I believe Jesus was black. Yeah, well, duh. But you know he's ugly too. Why he gotta be ugly? Why does his looks matter? It didn't say that he was he he ain't. I don't he know what's in Isaiah. Right. He, he, ain't, he ain't look. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. Half just want everybody to be ugly. <laughs> that's oh all. my man. I mean, that's what they said, man. Damn. You know. Right, right. Well, have no wife either. What is huh? it? <laughs> you have a wife either. Nah, Jesus, Jesus did what he had to do. No. Was he loose like a goose? Uh, no, he's not getting started either. <laughs> you don't even, you don't know no music. We out. <laughs>